Hello again, this is Carsten from the UR Tracker, and today I would like to show you how the latest version of the UR Tracker can be used to practice radial interceptions. So, in order to do that, let's uh, go to the settings page and adjust the wind to something a little bit more challenging. Let it be displayed as the actual wind and change the NAV8 to a VOR DME. Also, the EHSI would probably be best to demonstrate the interception. So here it is, our randomly created interception mission. So here we have to intercept radial 200 inbound and it is really important to now realize that uh, radial is always outbound. So if you want to intercept that radial inbound, you have to add or subtract 180 degrees. You can either calculate the inbound course, or if you are not good at calculating, just uh, set the CDI's tail to the 200, and the head will show your inbound track, in this case 0 to 0. Looking at the needle now, you can easily see that the course to the station is 1 to 9, whereas the wanted inbound track is 0 to 0. That is quite a big difference and anything more than 70 degrees difference requires some outbound flying to give us some space for the inbound interception. Let's take a look at the map mode by tapping on the clipboard and here you can now see why the outbound flying is required. So let's unfreeze and start flying. Let's first select uh, the outbound course, correct it a little bit for the wind. You can see the wind is blowing at 190 degrees, it's 40 knots. So let's make the outbound heading 197. All the turns are made at a standard rate, so the bank angle in this case is 19 degrees, so we have to roll out roughly 10 degrees before the desired heading. Flying outbound now, we have to wait until we are uh, abeam the station and then start our timing. We do have quite a bit of headwind here, so I will start the inbound turn at around 2 minutes and 20 seconds. This is quite a good time now to think about what we have to do next, which is the 90 degrees intercept. Let's set the heading 0 to 0 plus 90 degrees is 110, corrected for wind again. That's it. We can now use the fast mode to accelerate things a little bit, so we do not have to wait the whole two minutes. Two minutes, 20 seconds coming up, so I'm gonna get out of fast mode and start the turn. Things are moving a bit quicker now, so it would be good to already know your final 45 degrees intercept. In our case, that's 065. Corrected for wind, I make it 070 degrees. Now let's keep an eye on the needle, and as soon as the difference is 20 degrees, we are going to start our turn.
this is it. Things seem to be coming together nicely, so now we have to watch the CDI and the needle and start our final turn. So, looks good to me, just a little bit of a final correction, and let's take a look again at the map mode to see how we've done. Beautiful.